Hello folks once again and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Sweden. We are breaking free from our evil Danish overlords. Oh, and we just finished improving relations with France. They are in tip-top shape. Can't complain. Uh, let's do the same with Burgundy, just in case the weirdness happens that sometimes does. Uh, meaning that uh, Burgundy becomes the dominant power instead of France. That is really rare in my uh, experience limited though it is but if it does happen uh, it's better to be prepared <laughs> in my opinion okay okay there's a new pope we are still way like at least a year away from uh, hitting our uh, storage limit of the of papal influence, so let's not uh, go not spending it right now. We don't need to. Connaught declared on monster. Yeah, Ireland is uh, fighting. Uh, oh my God, English in England is again just falling apart with rebels. <sighs> oh England, why do you need to oh, always <laughs> go into such a state? I think actually after uh, Agda Falls, I'll take these five guys and uh, I'll try that uh, thing that I mentioned in, in an earlier episode, if the Norwegian Navy just goes to Bergen Bergenshus. Uh, because... Um, are they going? Southern Norwegian Sea? Where are you going? I don't come now. Uh, Western Norwegian Sea? No, they're just sitting there on the sea, the sea tile. Oh crap. Hmm. Still, let's uh, detach two blockades. Go over here and uh, over here. Oh, is that all same? No, it's uh, Storel and Lowland. Uh, two different sea areas. Yep, just a thought. Oh, but there are Danish ships over there. A few of them. Mm. Not exactly ideal. Let's uh, grab one more heavy carrack and uh, send that over there as well. Okay, we are in Lulland. Or is this all? Yeah, this is all the same sea area. Ooh, that is fantastic. And looks like they aren't... Uh, looking for a fight here, so I can go and take Shelland. Oh, this is great. That's, that's going to be a decent chunk of war score, getting the enemy capital. And we got Jemtland, so that should be... Uh, that should make it easier for us to um, be able to uh, demand that in a peace deal. Oh, our admiral died. Uh, well, I think he kind of served his purpose, regardless. I should actually take these uh, cogs and help out to help out with the siege. I mean, they aren't really battleships, but they can do their job. Well, do I want that admiral? Honestly, yes. Because I want uh, all the advantage I can get when I spit out the Danish navy there in Shelland. And if I get um, uh, coastal provinces, any and all ships I take from Denmark I can keep. Unfortunately, that was a crappy 
I don't know, but hey, this must. Okay, at least uh, they will have one pip in fire, so it's uh, better than nothing in combat situations. So let's uh, group those guys up. Is Bornholm actually? No, it's not considered Swedish. Fair enough. Gotland is. Peasants getting up a day. Lose legitimacy, can't afford it, or lose admin points. Unfortunately, we can't. We can't lose legitimacy because, yeah, it's already 16, and our negative stability is pushing it down constantly. Ah well, I, I I need to boost that up. I can't afford to lo keep losing uh, legitimacy, and that uh, this one group of rebels wa was already at ridiculous numbers of. Uh, for spawning. But this siege should do just fine because, yeah, uh, we are blockading so they don't get bonuses from that and uh, they have a fault level of 2 but uh, we are constantly gaining ground. That should fall before too long. Whereas these places will take a lot longer because we can't blockade them. They, uh, they are a lot more negative modifiers for us to our sieges. How much manpower? Uh, we've uh, used up roughly 3000 of our uh, manpower. Which is really good. Considering. I mean, we haven't really fought any battles. All of that has come to attrition. I still don't want to stop funding my uh, troops just in case. Okay, we can uh, finally choose new missions and I think we are going to take take Gentland because we are already at war where we can uh, demand it should our war score get high enough. Let's see what they are willing to give us right now. They are giving us uh, Gentland and Blatunes and Blatskone. No, no way. Skone is way too important for you, but you will give us Holland. How far away are we from that? Demand exceeds war score. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. I'd love to get all the land that I have cores in, uh, like this uh, Gutland province as well. That's <laughs> been now held by the pretender rebels for 12 years <laughs> uh, but yeah we'll we'll see what the war score is when uh, uh, when I fully occupy Norway and when this uh, this province falls and I think I'll uh, actually take these guys uh, via the transports and take Bornholm as well Probably not worth all that much, but it might make all the difference. Uh, after that, we really start uh, need to start looking for allies, because we are going to border uh, Muscovy sooner or later. They'll either push Novgorod out of the map, or we'll uh, take a couple of their provinces and start bordering Muscovy. So we need someone to uh, try, try to keep uh, Muscovites in check with us. What about Lithuania? Are you... Uh, how, how bad off are you? Probably doing okay-ish, I think. And yeah, your rivals are Muscovy already, so I might want to kissy kissy with them. Let's actually bring you home and uh, start improving relations with uh, Lithuania. I'd also love to get some uh, royal marriages going, but those uh, drop your legitimacy 
I think by five when you get them. You'll get uh, running uh, like upwards score for your legitimacy, but. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I don't know, we we don't yet have an heir and uh, we're kind of in, in desperate need of one. Oh, and I forgot to watch this grand battle because shell and fell. See, we obviously won hands down, we did take two of his uh, galleys, but that's all he lost. Still, that was a good battle. Okay, where are you going? And uh, let's uh, take away you four and... Uh, looks like you are going... Where the hell are you going? Oh, here. Yep. Let's just... Uh, Keep blockading you over there. In that case, group up all of you guys, and actually, I can take Loland as well now that I'm uh, blockading this part. And uh, Trandelac fell. Good, good. Uh, let's keep on pushing northward. Already at 64. <laughs> Awesome. Um, detach a siege and uh, I don't know. Uh, is this? Yeah, it's a level two fault. Mm, darn. And you should be able to keep the siege going after you've uh, replenished up to 2k, I think. Transports in there. Board the transports and transports. Do your transporting thing. And uh, land the dudes over boreholes, please. And you can just stay there and blockade that so it'll be easier to conquer. And all through this war we have been making money. <laughs> Actually, right now things are going so well, I think I can safely just uh, grab some uh, advisors. Mostly like to get a... Uh, hmm. Do I have revolt risk? Uh, somewhat. Sure, why not? Let's uh, get rid of almost all my revolt risk. Oh, a national decision. Advancement of Religion Act. Would give us missionary strength. Uh, we'll think about it. And also, uh, military. Uh, sure, let's go with manpower, dude. Are we still making money? A uh, tiny bit. So, um... Yeah, let's go with the uh, diplomatic reputation guy. So now we have a full suite of uh, dudes and we are still like barely uh, going down on, uh, on cash. Um, national tax modifier and stability cost. The correct. It costs me st admin points as well. I'm I'm okay with it. I like money. In the long run, I think that is uh, definitely going to be worth it if we don't get into too many wars. Uh, but yeah, this uh, unfortunately isn't going to isn't going to work since I don't have enough dudes most of the time because of attrition. Oh. Uh, you've already finished how big of a fort there is over here. Three. Okay, you have three cab. Let's actually take out 
these two dudes select the cav you move a bit faster and you'll be able to siege that down with the attrition because uh, there are three of you and this is level two fort and this is level two fort as well good, good. and the, the, as soon as these two get over here I'll uh, go and pick them up oh Let's fix that. <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. There are Norwegian and Danish ships docked in there and all I had over there were a couple of transports. <laughs> Not ideal. And let's actually do a similar kind of stunt over here. Grab a couple of the guys that are worst damaged. Select them and uh, head to Shelland for repairs. That should uh, give us like 10% um, a month repairs for those dudes. And you hurry on up. Get your ass to Skone so I can uh, bring you guys to Barnholm and finish sieging that up. And Lolland will uh, fall sooner or later. Our oh, war exhaustion is uh, still 2.97. Okay, it's actually going up fairly quickly. Let's check. Yeah, from attrition. But Denmark has 7.56 and Norway has 5, so uh, they are in a lot worse shape than we are. A lot. So, they should be slowly getting to the point where they are like willing to take not whatever peace deals, but like really sucky for them peace deals, just because their uh, war exhaustion is getting so high that their own citizens are no longer backing them in this war. Okay, and... Uh, that maybe got spat out, and we should be winning this. Not nearly as hands down as I'd hoped it would be, but peace offer from, from Denmark. Uh, no, we'll uh, take our own peace deal. Thank you very much. I think we can do better than whatever it is that you are suggesting. A lot closer than I hoped it would be, but still, we didn't lose anything and uh, they lost a uh, lightship, which we captured. Good enough, good enough. Uh, let's grab those uh, damaged galleys and such and go to Shelland for repairs and uh, you guys can just come back and you head to Smolent. I think as soon as uh, this place falls, I am going to be happy with the results and uh, I'll probably just peace out. At least if I can get everything I desire. This will take ages more. Let's uh, group these guys up. Good, good. Mm, this will take quite a long time to heal.
We're at 76%. <laughs> Even Holstein and Saxe-Lauenburg that I haven't been uh, messed at basically at all. I haven't fought a single battle against them or uh, taken any of their provinces and they're still like Please let us out of this war. We no like it. And uh, we had superior numbers. So this should be significant. Yep. We gained another light ship from that and uh, they are moving elsewhere. Uh, that was actually my trade ships. You guys uh, duck up and uh, grab my dudes over here, and then you can go to Blackinge. And you can. You two can, can group up and you can heal up a bit. And I can take all the rest of you except that one bark. Great fleet go. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Uh, you might go to Stockholm and grab this guy. So I'll have. Uh, oh, and uh, take this guy as well. So now I have six uh, trade ships. I can deal with that. I like it. up and uh, as soon as you're done repairing start uh, patrolling Baltic Sea. The good thing about this is um, uh, doing this the automatic uh, patrolling of trade nodes is that if uh, several of the ships are damaged they just dock up and repair and then keep going. Okay and I'm definitely going to take some prestige from naval battles although it's uh, kind of late for this war. This war is kind of over already, but still. Uh, let's just wait for this one to finish as well. It's already at 42, so it'll fall soonish. And uh, yeah, we are still getting more war score just from holding Stockholm, so I'm not all that fast about waiting a bit more. And there we go. And group you guys up. Some of you are rather damaged, but that's okay. I can deal with that. 80%. Okay, um, I'm going to check on the peace deal, and if I can get what I want, I'm going to end this episode with doing the peace deal. And it looks like I can. Can I get Gotland? Okay, th that's going over overboard. Yeah, demand exceeds war score. But... I'm... Well, even the aggressive expansion penalty wouldn't be that bad. Because... Uh, yeah, the only uh, would affect Denmark, Norway and Novgorod. However, we ha don't have any diplo power because like a derp I just took the <laughs> idea. Ah, so I think I'm just going to pause it here and uh, when we come back I'll uh, think it over if uh, we are going to keep this war going until we get those peace deals that we wanted. Probably we'll have to do that or if we'll do something else. Anyway, we are basically free from Denmark as Super Sweden right now. Once again, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Bye for now.